Okay, so we got some new uh, motors in here from RCN Power. Uh, 2305 size, uh, the V2 I guess, of the GT 2305. 1800 kV, so this is going to be a 6S motor. Okay, so in the box you just get your mounting screws, M3 standard stuff there. And here's the motor. You got a, doesn't look like it's a hollow shaft. You got a set screw in the bottom. And I guess, I guess it is a hollow shaft there. And pretty long motor wire here. It looks like about almost six inches of motor wire. So uh, plenty of motor wire available. And this is actually 20 gauge wire, a little bit on the thinner side, but it's okay. It's a low KV motor, so it's not going to draw a ton of, ton of amps. 2305, 1800 KV, Hobby branded. So it's um, manufactured by RCN Power and uh, a branded Hobby Mates. It's, uh, I think it's sold at the Hobby Pool website. Link in the description. Ooh, it's a pretty nice looking motor. Uh, I like the styling. Got the, the single strand of copper wire. Nice air gap. Magnets aren't too thick or too thin, and they're not super coggy, so nice and smooth. Bearings are smooth. So I'll have this on something, some sort of some sort of 6S build soon, and uh, we'll see how this performs. A couple more things here from Cadex. Got the new Turbo Micro F2. This, uh, this one's the 4.3 version. I think it comes in a 16.9 version as well. And I think it's in TSC and PAL switchable, so it doesn't, doesn't say which one it is. That's probably that's why. Um, yeah, but I don't think the sensors are switchable. Uh, like on some other cameras, I think there's separate versions for the aspect ratio. Kind of wondering what's different about this one. I know that the S2 had a bigger lens. Um, this one looks the same as the F1. Same M8 lens, not an M12. So that's not too different. Uh, connector is, uh, looks like we have a five pin connector now instead of a four pin. Looks like it has, has an audio out. So there might be a microphone on this one here somewhere. That's probably the main difference. But uh, yeah, we'll check this one out, and yeah, if it has a microphone, then we'll, we'll test the audio as well. Okay, so we got a new version of the turtle camera here, and I believe this one will have the microphone. Okay, so you get your, looks like your warranty card. You got some notes here on the firmware, it doesn't need to be upgraded, and it gets hot if you're on 4S. Uh, so, 2 to 3S voltage suggested. Probably run off of 5 volts, that's what I usually run off of the BC on the flight controller, that should be fine. And it has some notes about the micro SD card. And yeah, right off the bat, you can see the main difference here. They fixed the hole pattern, so it's a standard hole pattern now. Instead of that weird one hole off in the corner, so they obviously redid the layout of the PCB. And we have a microphone now. It's kind of dangling there, so you might need to mount that with some sticky foam or something like that. And I see some solder points here, probably for the this connection here. For video, audio, etc. And they've wrapped up the stranded wire so it doesn't get snagged up, but that's another good improvement. All things that I've suggested in the original videos, looks like they've fixed all those problems. And I believe they have a new lens now. That Well, they should have the new lens. I, I actually have um, the lenses they actually sent me replacement lenses for the uh, version 1 turtle. I think there was a flaw in the optics. That's why it had sort of the hazing on the, on the edges of the image and everything like that. And supposedly this new one fixes that. Well, it looks the same to me. Obviously all the optics are inside the lens here. It's, it's a multi-part lens. But this uh, looks pretty similar here. I didn't change that part of the design. You just kind of fix sort of the little flaws that were in the original. Got the same OC joystick and mount there. And you got the same little adapter plates for 30 by 30 but obviously they probably corrected that for the new mounting pattern along with your wiring harnesses. Yeah, so I'll get this uh, into something real quick, and we'll, we'll see what the audio is like and the video is like. So, uh, obviously, for the first video on this one, it'll just be standard settings. And if I uh, want to switch up the uh, settings and get some better image um, settings, then I'll maybe do some later videos. Hopefully, 
they took some of the settings I suggested and put them in on, as defaults and you can just fly it out of the box without having to mess with it. So we'll see in the review pretty soon. Okay, so we got a, a toy uh, helicopter here. This is uh, from WL Tech or WL Toys. This is the V911S. So uh, obviously comes with, you know, ready to fly with its own transmitter. It's like probably runs on 1S, uh, lightweight, and it's probably good for a beginner. It looks like it has a 6S, 6 axis gyro. Uh, I don't have too much experience with these things, so it'll be interesting to see how, how, I, how I do in these. But I heard that it has all the same channels, you know, it's a throttle, yaw, pitch roll, and should fly the same. So, But obviously it's not FPV, it's just line of sight. I'll have a video on this one uh, at some point pretty soon, and uh, I'll, I'll probably do the unboxing of that video if you are curious about that, or I'll just uh, go ahead and fly it, and you guys can see how this flies. So I'll have a video on this one pretty soon. Okay, so I got a new frame here from Catalyst Machine Works. Yeah, check out their new sticker, pretty cool. Uh, this is the Smooth Operator. This is their freestyle frame. Kind of a, a squash build, low profile build. It's kind of interesting where they're in their build, uh, the stack is going to be, uh, like I think the flight control is behind the EC, a uh, single layer stack. And uh, yeah, so this is a pretty nice looking frame. Individual arms, obviously, a lot of parts in this one. I think they're kind of known for pretty complicated designs. Which I think is a good thing and a bad thing. So obviously, obviously, I'll uh, do a frame review at some point pretty soon, and I'll put that together. I believe he has a build on the frame on his website. Um, in that video, I'll reference his video if uh, that's the case. And they also sent me the GoPro mount. This is for the session, and they also make the mount for the Hero Six, I believe, the, because uh, you know, the session is not made anymore. But they have both available if you need them. And uh, I think this is a wrist wristband. Nice. Pretty cool. Anyway, I'll have a video on this coming up pretty soon. Okay, got a big box here. This is a, a five-inch drone from Gep RC, and this one's called the uh, Mark II. And this has the the new Span F4 tower in there already. I think this is in there. A lot of their five-inch ones now. And some of the specs here: PLLS 40 amps. 600 milliwatt video transmitter, uh, 2207, 2400 kV motors. And we got the same specs here. It's a spec sheet on the top of the box. And got some, basically a pretty small manual. More specs, diagram on where the plugs go and everything. This is uh, stuff that came with the Span X or the Span F4 tower. And along with some documentation on. The uh, beta flight setup here, IRC tramp on UART 3, only three UARTs here. Scaling for the current sensor. I think this is all stuff that came with the, uh, the span tower, yeah. This is the manual for the span tower, not for the whole drone. Uh, FreeSky RXSR receivers in this one, not the XM Plus, interesting. Got a frequency chart and also instructions for the video transmitter if you want to use the button. And we got the stickers. Okay, cool. So they include a GoPro mount here. So it screws into the top here and then your GoPro will sit at an angle. So it looks like about 30, 35 degrees. Um, but I'm glad that they're including this. A lot of the vendors make you buy this separately or something like that. So that's nice it's included. Get the uh, little control board for the run cam. I don't know which run cam is on here. Okay, here's the rest of the stuff that's in the box. Uh, got a bunch of props. Yeah, I'm not sure how many sets there are, but it looks like uh, several sets. I think these are 5040 props. They're GFRC branded. And we got a bunch of goodies in here. We got some forever tubes. You got, uh, looks like three battery straps in green. You got some 3D printed arm bumpers, battery pads. Looks like a pagoda antenna in here. Uh, so the rest of the stuff in the bag gets uh, looks like an alternative mount here if you want if you don't want to use the uh, 3D printed GoPro mount. I think this is a carbon piece that sticks out the top. Make sure you get two Pagoda antennas. You get a stubby and a longer one. You get a spare arm. Very nice, and you can see the quality of the carbon here is all it's like nice and chamfered. Uh, I like that they're including spare arms in there. And their kits now, so you don't have to go and uh, find one if you break one right away. And this is a smaller battery strap here. I think this is probably for the GoPro mount. Yeah, 
you know, lots of stuff with this kit here. A lot of spare screws, looks like motor screws here. Little caps for the forever tubes and you get a set of Allen keys. Yeah, so you actually get two of the uh, GoPro battery straps. They have extras of everything. And this looks like some extra cables, probably it looks like this one maybe for a camera and this one maybe for a receiver. So these are for the plugs on the flight controller. Okay, so just a quick look at it. Uh, this is the red version. This also comes in a gray version with gray motors, I think silver standoffs. Yeah, 2207, 2400 kV motors, and uh, made by Speedex. Yeah, this is a pretty nice motor, and all the, all the motors have quiet bearings, they're not noisy, so it's a probably high quality motor. And set screw on the bottom. Yeah, I'm always impressed with Gep RC stuff there, all this stuff seems to be really nice out of the box. Uh, some kind of run cam here, I'm not sure what model this is. I want to check the specs. It's probably like a Swift or something like that. I don't think it's the Eagle. It's the uh, flight tower, the Span 4 F4 tower. Yeah, flight controller, video transmitter board, plus a 400 ESC. You got a capacitor back there. You got the RXSR back here. Three printed parts for the LED and your SMA adapter. And then you, these, this is the, you're going to stick your forever tubes in here. I'm going to set that up here the receiver antenna and then you got a little retainer here for the XD60 so that's gonna stay out of the props. Yeah, it's, you know, it's all very very nice. A little QC sticker there. Yeah, so the uh, GoPro mount's gonna just screw in here, take the screws off and screw that on and then put on the GoPro. Pretty cool. Yeah put the battery back here. It's very clean. I think these are separated arms yeah so you have a bottom plate, you got the arms on top of that, and then you have this metal retaining piece here. Instead of a sandwich plate, you have this metal piece here that the screws go to, and that, that actually sandwiches the the arms in here and holds the arms between this bottom plate and this metal piece here. That's actually pretty nice. Saves a little bit on space instead of using like uh, uh, those press fit nuts, for example, in a lot of other builds. So also keep it a little bit lighter as well. Okay, so anyway, I'll have a video on this one coming up soon, so stay tuned. Okay, looks like we got another part here from, looks like it's from Banggood. Okay, so this is uh, another version of the multi-protocol module. This is actually made by iRange X. It's called the IRX4 lights for the uh, FreeSky x Light radio. And as you can see, it's for that module bay. Uh, X uh, micro USB port here for firmware updates. And, you know, do all those uh, multi-protocols. Uh, FreeSky, FlySky, Spectrum, all the toy protocols, etc. You get your antenna on here. Pretty nice, I'll have a review on this up on the X-Lite of course. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to update the firmware so that it has the multi-module enabled. I believe the one I've got on there now, the, the latest version 222, has that. So it should be plug and play and then we'll be able to bind up some other receivers like some FlySky and Spectrum receivers etc. And uh, yeah, this is actually cheaper than the, uh, there was a one that was out actually, I'm supposed to get that one, it's kind of funny that the uh, the other uh, the first one that came out of this one for the X Lite, uh, I had it on order from Banggood like a while back, and then it went on back order, and I don't even know if it shipped yet or not. I don't know where it is, and then this one came out like I don't know, not that long ago, maybe a week ago, and I ordered it up real quick. Uh, and it came it came in just a few days. It's a uh, pretty weird how shipping works with Banggood. I have no idea. But yeah, this is the actually the uh, a newer version. It's actually cheaper. It's thirty-five dollars uh, versus the other one's like forty, forty-one dollars. So I believe the chip and everything in here is the same. So um, I'll have a review on this one soon. Okay, so I got the new Jumper T12 uh, V2. I think I'm not sure if it's called V2 or not, but this this T12 is special. It has the Hall sensor gimbals. So it looks like it comes in a different color. Okay, so there's no indication on here this is a version 2 or not. It doesn't say. This looks the same quick start guide as the original. Uh, micro USB cable and a little extra spare parts. This is all the same as the first T12 that I showed you from before. And you get a lanyard cable. And this color is obviously different. And obviously the black was on there before in the back. And now we have uh, black all on the 
front and the back. And now we have these hall sensor gimbals. And yeah, it does feel a little bit smoother than the standard gimbals. Uh, I was going to do like a, a video where I took the hall sensor gimbal out of the T8 SGV2 and put it into the T12. But since this is out, this kind of that makes that video kind of pointless. But it looks like everything else is the same. You know, as far as I can tell, everything here is the same. Um, battery tray is the same. Multi protocol module in the back. So. Yeah, it doesn't say if this is a version 2 or not, but this one has the hall sensor gimbals now. So yeah, I'll have a video, real quick, real quick one, because it obviously doesn't look like it's a whole lot different. And I'll, I'll go over the uh, how the gimbals feel and everything in that video.